Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new video here on my channel and today we're going back into Forza Horizon 4 again looking at these possible locations for where it's going to be set obviously people are thinking Japan, some are thinking Dubai, some are thinking United Kingdom and even uh, others going as far as to say uh, we're going Canada or even back to Australia again now first of all I personally don't think it will go back to Australia again because I've already done it once there's no need to do it again but this video, guys, is just going to be delving into a little bit deeper about the uh, United Kingdom possibility uh, of um, a location for Forza Horizon 4. And I'll just get into that in just one moment. But before we do get into today's video, guys, uh, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please slap that like button as hard as you can and subscribe so you never miss any Forza Horizon 4 videos from myself. If you also want to be uh, take that step further, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. That will keep you uh, notified when I do upload a video on Forza Horizon 4. So guys, let's go straight into it. So it's just a very quick video for today. So Forza Horizon 4 could be set in the UK uh, if a batch of files hidden in the uh, the latest Forza 7 update is to be believed. Uh, now the files which have been uncovered by community member um, Admeister highlighted a slew of British cars set to be debuted in Forza Motorsport 7 pointing towards the location of the next Forza Horizon game. Now, bear with me on this one. Now, while if, uh, a bunch of the cards featured in the leak appeared in the 360 era Forza games, uh, with the images discovered by the Admeister, showcasing how they're set to look in Forza 7, with Forza Motorsport 6 having previously added a whole bunch of Australian cars just before Horizon 3 was announced, the wide selection of British cars seemingly featured in this update suggests that Forza Horizon, thought, uh, Horizon 4 could actually be set in London or another UK location. Uh, new additions outlined in the leak included the McLaren Senna, which would mark the first time the hypercar has been featured in the series. The Peel P50, which is an odd-looking three-wheeled microcar featured in Top Gear. If you haven't seen that episode, I would definitely recommend you go in and do that. It's quite a good one. It's also featured in the leak, and a quintessentially British vehicle that will rival Horizon 3's Ute. Maybe not rival, but I think you get what I mean. It's quite a British car, as a Ute is quite an Aussie car. Uh, as is the case with any leak, nothing has been confirmed by Microsoft. I'll say that again, nothing has been confirmed by Microsoft. Turn 10 or Playground Games. So these files may not hint at all to the foundations of Horizon 4. However, the UK would certainly be an interesting location for the sequel and would provide a completely different setting compared to the sun-kissed cities of Horizon 3. The Forza series has always prided itself on realistic weather effects. So Britain's fleeting moments of sunlight... I'll just stop you there, by the way, guys. Uh, Britain doesn't have any sunlight whatsoever. It's all rain, 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 depressing, and rain. Um, but anyway, uh, so Britain's fleeting moments of sunlight mixed with its torrential rain could well provide for some, uh, for some interesting open-world racing. Obviously, guys, Forza Horizon 4 has not even been officially announced yet, though the smart money uh, I've got it on is being unveiled during E3 2018. Uh, I believe that's from the 10th to the 15th or something like that, around about that time in that week of June uh, this year, so we're not that far away at all. But we will have to wait until June to find out whether or not this will be the case. But as I said, guys, take everything with a, uh, a grain of salt with this. It's nothing confirmed. It's all speculation. However, it does match up from what's happened uh, to the previous Horizon with the uh, um, Australian vehicles and then obviously Horizon 3 being announced to be set in Australia. It could happen, it could not. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below, guys. As with anything, guys, I'd love to hear your feedback on this, and, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about all this, and where you think it will be actually be set, and why. I am very intrigued to know what you guys think. But like I said, guys, that is it for me in today's video, and I did hope you enjoy it. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you ever in my next video, guys. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.